Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T. Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us once again. Cooking out back tonight. Got my Big Joe sitting over there. She's getting fired up. I'm going to do some slow and slow cooking for you. And as you all can see in the title there, we're doing a little bit of pork shank. And that pork shank was provided by Low Bells of New York. Appreciate you guys. When you do order the pork shank from Low Bells, this is how it's shipped. So you got this cryovac bag here. And they only sell the Berkshire pork, the best on the planet. It's good stuff. Me and Karen were talking about it, and I was thinking about braising this, uh, doing different things with it. But we decided we wanted some pork pulled pork tacos, which is great for this. It's just like having a pork butt or something. But if y'all haven't tried pork shanks, the pork that comes out of this is just is really tender, really super tender, and really moist make perfect tacos so that's what we're gonna do with it tonight I'm gonna be cooking about 225 Fahrenheit I've got a little bit of pecan wood on the Big Joe and she's coming up the temp we'll be cooking here shortly let me get these cleaned up and dried off and we're gonna season them up meet you back here shortly the Big Joe's getting up the temp here still it's uh actually it is up the temp I'm holding her about 250 Fahrenheit I've decided to go a little you know cook a little faster at 250 I've got this uh, German mustard here from uh, Low Bells, and we're going to put a little bit of this mustard on each of these just to use as a binder because I'm going to season these up. There we go. Okay. Rub all this in real quick here. Try to get it on all sides real quick here. I'm hoping it'll impart some some heat into this right quick. All right, let me get the uh, the spices. I'll show you what we're going to throw in here real quick as a rub. I figured I would give one of my buddies, Tango Joe, a shout out. This is his uh, company, Tango Spice Company. I'm using his Southwest Sunset. And uh, this spice blend, if you look, it's the 2008 Golden Chili winner. And it's also the 2012 Fiery Food Challenge winner. And on the heat scale, it's rated hot. And just so you know, Tango's, uh, his rubs, his spices, they don't have a whole lot of salt in them, which is why I like them. I can always add more salt. We're just going to coat these down real good on all sides. All right, so I got these all coated down. I'm not really going to put any on the skin side. I'll show you what we're going to do with that here in a little bit. Besides that, skin's tough. It, it, this rub won't penetrate that. I'm um, going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on all these sides, just a touch, and we're going to throw it on the Big Joe. Alright, again, as you can see, we're holding 225, actually about, I mean, sorry, uh, 240 right now. I was trying to keep it around 250. I may need to crank this open just a hair. A little daisy wheel at the top, but she's holding close to 250, which is where I want it. I'm set up for indirect, and again, I've got some pecan wood on here. I'm going to cook these fat side up, skin side up. And I'm not positive how long these are going to take. They probably, I'm thinking four hours, but uh, we'll, we'll check them and I'll show you here in a little bit what they look like. All right, gang, here we go. We're three hours in and that's what she's looking like now. Looking pretty doggone good. And uh, the internal temp right now is about 160. So I am going to raise the temperature we've been cooking at 250 ish uh, for again three hours so we're gonna let her go a little bit longer I'm gonna raise the temp about uh, about 325 350 and we'll see we'll see how quickly these can get done all right folks cranking this up to 350 kind of darken the, the fat layer here but that's that's cool that's cool we uh, see if I can show you this on the film I can't really see what I'm seeing here but uh, if I look at this right here, can't really see, but uh, there you go, 204, 205 on that one. Uh, this one, yeah, there you go, 195, 197, 196. So I'm going to leave them on here another couple of minutes, and I'm going to pull them off. We're going to wrap them up in some foil, let them rest. We'll show you the results here in a second. Alright guys, let's take this uh, 
pull off here. I had it tinted probably a half hour or so. I'm telling you, man, this is, geez, this is just super gorgeous. You know, check that out. And it smells so good. So good. <laughs> it does, man. It's, it's, it's like, oh, it's like, it's like a ham. That's what it smells like, honestly. It does. It really does. This, this is, I'm just going to, I'm just going to try to take the bone out. And you know, meat's always better when you cook it with a bone in. All right, we're gonna just take this the skin off here real quick here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just kind of bust this up real quick. This this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great, folks. See, there's another one here. Just pull that little skin back around there. You can hear it crispy. That's crispy. Oh yeah, it's crispy. That's like crackling right there. Oh man, this is this is this is for the cook right here. Mm-hmm. I have cracklings right there, y'all. Oh man. Oh my god, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna shred this up, put it in a bowl, and be right back. Alright folks, we are about ready to heat it up a tortilla for you here. And y'all check that out. This is what we're talking about. See that nice bark on that? And you got the nice smoke ring happening here. This is just juicy and tender. Oh, that's some good stuff. So let's build this little pulled pork taco real quick. She made this coleslaw right here. And this coleslaw, she put a little bit of uh, like, sriracha. Yes, yeah, sriracha. I'm sorry. She put some of that sriracha sauce. The not the sauce. The uh, powder. Powder. <laughs> now, I can't think straight. She put some sriracha powder in that coleslaw. Okay, and then she got this uh, brown sugar and pineapples with pineapple juice. Put that on top here. Okay. What's good stuff right here? It smells wonderful. Alright, we got your little taco right there. See? And also have back over here, we got a little bit of a uh, Saffron rice. And that's going to complete our dish right here, folks. There you go. Just like that. See? Oh, that, doesn't that pork look gorgeous? All right, let's check this out. All right, everybody, let's check out this pulled pork taco. Man, I tell you, it smells wonderful. Good. Mm. They have pineapple with a brown sugar sauce. And man, that coleslaw with that sriracha. This is a wonderful combination. And teamwork between me and Cameron we pulled it off. That's some good stuff. And you get that nice little hint of smoke from the pecan wood on the, uh, the Kamado Joe. I'll tell you what. Now go check out lowbells.com. You get you some of this. It's shipped fresh to your door, never frozen. All their stuff is fresh. Well, the seafood's not, but you know they'll they'll freeze that. But the meats, lamb, pork, beef, chicken, turkey, all that stuff is fresh straight to your door from Lobels of New York. And if you're interested in getting some free shipping, go check this out. Theconnoisseurclub.com. Subscribe to them, you know, become a member to the Connoisseur Club, and you can get some free shipping from lowbells.com. I hope y'all go check them out. I'll put links down below, both to Lowbells and the Connoisseur Club. And folks, I'm telling you, this is this is outrageously good. Appreciate y'all joining me once again. Y'all give me some thumbs up. Hope y'all share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends, T-Roy Cooks, responsibly. See y'all next time.